This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Hyundai Kona 2024 model, and I'm going to show you something interesting here. This one has Tesla Model 3 behavior on the charging and battery. So um, uh, outside we have two, uh, minus 2.5 degrees Celsius. It's somewhat cold-ish, and then the battery has cooled down to 5 to 9 degrees Celsius. Uh, and then you see we have 18.5 degrees Celsius. This is car scanner. Uh, we have 11 kilowatt AC over there. And we also have some shook over here. I'm gonna plug in at the AC and then we see what happens. And you see now we're pulling tip 10.5 kilowatt from the charger. And then here is the EC app. Uh, you see also 10.4 here, three phase, 15.6 amps. So you're pulling 10 kilowatt from, uh, from the plug but we're only inputting five kilowatt into the battery and the remaining goes into the battery heater. You see that this one starts going up now. Yeah, it's a bit cryptic, it just says heater, but it's battery heater. So the battery is so cold that it needs to heat it up just to charge at five kilowatt, or oh, 11 kilowatt. So, and it, this, <laughs> this is crazy. Like we are pulling half the power roughly goes into heating up the battery. But maybe if we charge at lower speed, then there's no need to heat up the battery, right? Well, we can actually do that in Easy app. Huh, interesting. So two phases at 5.6 amp and one phase at... Uh, okay. And then if we do this... Okay. You see, suddenly we are reduced to 2.7 kilowatt. And then suddenly... Oh, then we are charging at only 2 kilowatt. And then the battery heater shut down. But if I increase back to 11 kilowatt, uh, then you see that the heat fires up again. So yeah, we're supposed to get uh, 10 kilowatt, but then we are taking only five and then it does this heating cycle. So it seems like uh, what you need to do is you have to not charge too fast. Or I mean, you can charge, you can go 11 kilowatt, but then uh, it needs the heat of the battery because, uh, I don't know, it seems like even this low C rating requires the uh, battery to be slightly warmer. So for more economical charging, you probably want to charge slower. <laughs> it sounds weird, right? You want to charge maybe at 5 kilowatt or lower. Then it doesn't do this heating on-off cycle. Okay, I disconnected and um, want to see the numbers here. See, we have 19.5% there. Uh, here, this one is slightly incorrect because when you charge it 100%, it shows around 70, uh, sorry, around 63 kilowatt hour from my member. It's supposed to be 65, uh, yeah, from actual driving it. But okay, so these are the starting position. I have to physically disconnect. We're going to connect again, and then we will see how inefficient is it to charge like this. It's actually similar to Model 3. It will have to cycle on and off the battery heater to keep the battery warm enough to charge it, and, but I, even the Tesla, um, I was charging at only three, no, no, it was like five kilowatt, and it did the whole thing. Here, at least, if you charge at five kilowatt, it seems to not uh, need to fire up the heater, but what about, okay, if you charge at 11 kilowatt, worst case, what's gonna happen then? Okay, interesting, you see here, this one was camping at 32 degrees Celsius, uh, as we plugged in. It was staying at 32, which meant that uh, there was no liquid going through the system, but suddenly it starts dropping and that means that liquid goes through the pumps and it drops and soon enough it will fire up the battery heater. You can hear something spinning up in the background. Okay, wait for it. So normally when I plug in like this, it will take roughly one minute before uh, this one starts dropping and then in another 30 seconds or so, then this one should drop. There, you see? Happens every time now. And yeah, well actually, you know, it seems like, yeah, the battery heater pulls around 4.5 kilowatt. I've seen it in the main screen when the car is on, when we are driving, for example, preheating before fast charging. So it seems like 4.5 kilowatt is the, is the rated power or whatever power it uses for the battery heater. All right, it's now 10.38 in the morning and uh, the car finished charging to 100%. I just disconnected and okay, look here. So uh, when we uh, charge to 100%, it so shows 63.3 kilowatt hour. We get 65.3 kilowatt hour. So that's a three kilowatt hour underreported uh, uh, energy. 
And what else is it? Uh, yeah, here interesting also as uh, the the truth still charge is 96.5 and then it's 100 percent So huh, you know, if you would try this again after five years and some degradation, I wonder if this one would be different. It would just try to hide degradation. But anyway, what we're looking for here is okay, so um well, the battery is cooled down to 10 degrees Celsius. So last night it was actually heating it up uh, quite a lot. But probably it probably just needed to heat it once and then it had the hot enough battery for the rest of the chat. Or actually, I don't know, for the charging session or if it reheated again during the night, um, didn't record the whole session. But okay, um, so we have to look at this one versus, um, uh, it was around 11 kilowatt hour last night. And then we see on EC that um, we pulled 64.4 kilowatt hour from the plug. Um, Huh, interesting. And if you do the math, all these numbers combine, uh, we actually get only 81% efficiency or 19% loss. That is quite massive. All right, since we have the ID4 GTX from Muskus Beal here, I might as well test that one also. Now, this car has been sitting outside uh, for many days, uh, not used. And you see that the battery has cooled down to minus 6.5 degrees. Ooh, this is a lot worse than the Kona. It was at plus six at the lowest. So when I run the heater, see, uh, we pull around four kilowatt for the heater. Um, the battery is not being heated up. I heard that you have to preheat via the app for it to uh, heat up, but okay. Um, so if we turn, well, let me see, okay, let me try, let, let's just do this. Let's test now. What happens if we turn off HVAC? Wait a little bit. And then we see that, okay, it drops quickly. Okay, if we start charging now, what will happen then? Okay, start via the app. Easy, man, I love the easy charging stations. We have app uh, uh, control, control lots of goodies here. Okay, hmm, nine kilowatt only. It's, okay, it ramps up now slowly. Okay, you can see here also the faces. All right, we should get around 15 amp at least. Right. Ah, interesting. <laughs> okay, so the same thing happens here. Uh, but uh, it seems to be not that powerful heater uh, yet. Uh, it pulls 8 amp. Okay, this is a bit... Um, we don't see kilowatt here, but we see 8 amp multiplied by this one is roughly 3 something kilowatt, right? Yeah, and then we get uh, 6.5 kilowatt into the battery. So it also wants to heat up the battery. But uh, maybe I should try to um, heat it up to six degrees somehow before I do the charging test. Okay, I tried to preheat via the app, but it didn't preheat the battery. But one method was to just start charging. Okay, uh, it seems like uh, it stopped at around a little bit over zero degrees Celsius. Stop preheating. So the car probably knows that this is good enough to charge. Uh, so. Hmm, okay, um, now I'm going to disconnect physically the cable over there and then connect it again so that I reset the counter for uh, EC. Otherwise, it will be counted in the same session. So, and then we just see here also, uh, I think this one is accurate. So, yeah, we have 47.7 uh, kilowatt hour. So let's charge 100% and then we do the same thing just like Kona uh, to see how many percent efficiency we have, charging efficiency. But uh, mind you that it is actually cold outside on this test and also the battery is colder. So we have worse condition on the ID4 versus Kona. All right, it's past 10 in the morning. We finished charging in the early morning hours. But uh, yeah, um, so now we are fully charged. And interestingly, uh, once I got into the car, I saw that it was pulling one kilowatt. I was like, wait, wait, but, but the heater is off. You know, no, 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 let me just show you that. It is off, but it's actually pulling uh, power for heating up the battery. So, but okay, when I saw here initially how much we had, uh, well, it's supposed to be 73 kilowatt hour, not 71. So this one is misreported, but I did my best to calculate how many kilowatt hour did we add since last time, uh, last, yeah, last night. And then we look here on um, at uh, EC that uh, the charger delivered 29 kilowatt hour 
And that actually becomes only 11% uh, losses compared to, uh, what was it again, around 20% losses uh, to 19 or 20% in um, Kona. But interesting, you see here. So um, uh, Volkswagen, they chose to charge slower. They didn't actually uh, heat up or reheat the battery during the night. It just went slower and slower and slower. And you see the charging session took a while. What, huh? Uh, eight, well, you can see here. This, no, no, no. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, but if you look, no, what the heck? I want to see this one. Why can't I see this one now? It's buggy. There, there, there. Yeah, but you see, it took almost eight hours to charge just 29. So the average speed is quite low. <laughs> I, huh? I heard there was a slight difference in sound. And then suddenly I noticed that the PTC heater is off now. So it only heated up for about five minutes before it shut down again. I don't know, try to heat it up to zero degrees. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what the logic behind this is because we are, we are finished charging now, so we don't need to heat up. I mean, the, the car can just rest now at minus uh, five degrees. On the, the battery can rest at minus five degrees, minus 10 degrees, no problem. I think as long as it doesn't cool down below minus 30 degrees, uh, then yeah, yeah the, the, the battery doesn't take any damage. Because I remember that uh, when, when we look at the Tesla manual, Tesla states that um, you don't want to, uh, I, think, I think you actually void the warranty of the battery if you leave the car soaked in minus, lower than minus 30 degrees Celsius for more than 24 hours. So what I would guess is that during 24 hours, the battery might cool down below 30 degrees. No, no, there was another thing. Yeah. And you have to, but if you leave it soaked like that, you have to pl plug it in, in the Tesla. And I bet what will happen is that the Tesla battery system or whatever will automatically heat up the battery to maintain some heat so it doesn't go below too cold temperatures. So now we see the difference between at least the Kona and the, the ID4. Uh, different uh, Hyundai's they, with different battery chemists, they might uh, do things differently. So yeah, maybe if I time and if it's still cold for a while, well actually it doesn't have to be that cold when I think about it. Um, even around zero degrees Celsius, as long as you soak it long enough, we could see some stuff like this. So if this is interesting, we should try other cars. We'll maybe retest what uh, Tesla is doing. What about uh, Audi and other brands? How are they doing when, when it gets cold? Because I never noticed that. Uh, you know, this phenomenon, I thought it was only a Tesla phenomenon that you get poor efficiency when it's cold. Well, at least for Kona, that was the case. But uh, for Volkswagen, it chose to just charge slower. Uh, so which method do you want? Do you want the best efficiency uh, or do you want the best charging speed? So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. Isabel, Daddy. No, wait, can you say... Daddy. Uh, can you say 999? 99. Achtung. Nine, nine. <laughs> Achtung. Okay, A, B, C. No, she's not in the mood. Daddy. Oh, uh, okay, let's try this. She would wrap this one. Isabel. No, 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 don't strip now. It's too early for you to strip now. Isabel. <gasps> Mommy. <gasps> Mommy. <laughs> Dolly. Mom is, mom is asleep. She was watching Miss Universe <laughs> all night. <laughs>